So, who wants to start off with the stories? What? Hang on. I, I can't be the only one who just realized they're here, right? Uh, no. <clears throat> if you mean that you just blanked out and you came back, uh, yes. Uh, I thought you meant something different. <laughs> what else could I mean? <laughs> Allison, what what are we doing here? Oh, we're, uh, you know, gathering around the campfire and telling stories. Around the what? Oh. <laughs> that's... That's not a campfire, Allison. <laughs> well, it's something. I, I couldn't... I couldn't work with the actual fire. <laughs> It, it wouldn't work, because I couldn't see either of you. Did you, like, knock us out or something? Uh, no? Allison. Yeah, what? What do you want? I get why she can't remember how she got here, but how, how come I can't? Oh, you're, um... Yeah, I, I actually knocked you out. Hang on, am I died to the chair? Yeah, Alice is too. <laughs> Wait, what? No, I'm not. Okay, maybe I got a little carried away and forgot that you should be tied to the chair too. I still can't move, but what did you do? I may have glued you to the chair. You what? You know what? Let, let's tell stories. Yeah, that's that's why we're here. <clears throat> we're just gonna skip over that part. Uh, I was planning to. Yeah. Bendy, do something. What? What do you want me to do? Uh, uh use your ink powers or something and get us out of here. Um. While I don't like being tied down, I am actually curious where this is going. Yay! Of course you are. Well, I guess we should play along. Get out of here, Susie. <sighs> I would, but... I'm, I'm not too happy about being glued to the chair, either. I ran out of rope! What do you want me to do? You don't glue people to chairs, Allison. You know what? Let's just do what she says. She's... She seems more half-crazed than she normally does. Alright, uh, wait, hang on. Do you have books and stories on you as, as well? Yeah, I gave everyone, uh... Books. <laughs> I wasn't talking to you. Uh, I do, actually. Ugh. Ugh. Allison, get me out of this chair! <laughs> Calm down, please. <laughs> we're, we're trying to have reading time. <laughs> You're gonna pay for this. You can't really do anything. I, I'm really the only one who can walk around. Alice, I. S wow, Alice. Mm -hmm. Allison, I swear, if you don't get me off this chair right now, I am going to hurt you. Yeah, since you're glued to the chair, that's kind of an empty threat. I, I don't really... I'm standing on a lantern. <laughs> Allison. Both Alice and I agree that you will get hurt if you don't unglue us from this chair. <laughs> Are you gonna do anything? <laughs> I'm actually curious where this is going. <laughs> Really? 
You're never one for drama. <clears throat> I'm, uh... <laughs> it's been an off day today, okay? To looking forward to something exciting to happen. <laughs> this is the most exciting thing to happen all day. Why are you both staring at me? <laughs> you're, uh... You're talking! It'd be rude not to! <laughs> I mean, if I was staring at Alice, then it'd be weird. You know what? If we go through with this story thing, I will get us out of here. You could get us out of here now, you know. <clears throat> yeah, but that wouldn't progress the plot at all. What? You heard me. I did, but why'd you say it? <clears throat> Anyways, Al Allison. Yeah? Please sit down. Okay. What, uh, what story should we read first? We're seriously going with this. <laughs> yes, it sounds interesting. Who, who's who's reading first? Well, since I want to be here least of all, I will start with my own story. In a rabbit society, they battle against bad people. Ooh, I I like this story. They're not humans. Even better. <laughs> uh, go on. In this world, animals act almost like humans. The best they're able to. Uh, I hope there's no singing. That'd be so cheesy. Just keep reading! <laughs> there's something called the blood flower. What the heck? I like this story already. Where someone from each animal group, fox, wolf, rabbit, or cat, is chosen to become human. However, there is also some bad people. Ooh! Shush, she's reading. <clears throat> Thank you. Who are a group that offers this called the Blood Rose. It takes place during the day after the initiate. I can't read. <clears throat> after the initial blood flower ceremony, and the animal dies, becoming a ghostly servant to the bad and villainous person. <laughs> Is there more? That sounds. <laughs> Sounds very intriguing. You know, sadly enough, there is. What do you mean, sadly? Sadly, because I have to read it. Oh. You know, this would be a lot easier if I was glued to the chair. It makes it more interesting, Susie. Whatever. You know what? Let's just get back to reading so we can get this over with. Where was I? There is a force of animals who've witnessed the Blood Rose, called the Diamond Resistance, who fight the bad people. Wait, they're actually called the bad people? That's what it says. Also commonly known as the Smoke Flare, who are shapeshifters. Of course they are. Let her read! <laughs> you were the first one to heckle her, so... <laughs> Will everyone please be quiet, or else we'll never get through this. Alright, pr proceed. <laughs> no further interruptions. Their battle happened over 70 years ago. The Diamond Resistance formed their own society, 
the pasta of Warren. Wait, hang on, hang on. What? I I have a, a question. What? Isn't a uh, Warren like a uh the animal group or something? <clears throat> I, uh, I think it's a group of rabbits or something like that. Oh, okay. Uh, go on. As I was saying, the Diamond Resistance formed their own society, the Postep Warren, and the Smoke Flare did as well, with an unnamed colony. There is a third group called White Flame, now lost to time, who had tried to bring both sides together and end the war. You know, as you do. Be quiet, please. You know, it'd be a lot nicer if Alice was here. Well, she's not, so... you get to deal with me. <laughs> Alright then. Uh, instead, both the Diamond Resistance and Smoke Flare destroyed White Flame. A legend would soon be written, stating that there would one day be a new group to wipe out both groups and finally set peace. Hang on, hang on. What is it now, Allison? I, I have a question, I I'm sorry. <laughs> what, uh... Can, can you be specific? Which group is wiping out what? Uh, I, I think she's saying that there's gonna be a new group wiping out the Diamond Resistance and the... the what, what was it called? Something... Flare. Smoke Flare. Yeah, that. <laughs> Oh, okay, just the way you worded it sounded very confusing. I'm only reading it that way because that's what's on the page. Okay, I'm sorry. Continue. We're actually almost to the end. The only clue this prophecy gave was the name the ancestors saw. The Diamond Flame. And that is it. I am done. Can we go now? <laughs> no, no! That's not how that works! <laughs> Although that was a very intriguing story, I kind of want to read that now. <laughs> I, I do too. That, that sounds very, very interesting. <laughs> well, too bad it's not a uh, story anyone is actually interested in. <laughs> what? I think Susie's lost it. I think so. Uh, d do you want to go next? Uh, sure. <clears throat> All right. This this one is like a short, creepy story. Apparently, <laughs> this should be good. Can you give Alice back, please? Uh, fine. Whoa. Uh, uh, hi! What, what happened? Uh, the, nothing. Just, um, c can you sit down, please? It's very rude, Allison. Oh, fine. That's... Alright. <laughs> I mean, Alice gets to leave and I don't, but okay. <clears throat> uh, she doesn't really leave. That's Susie taking over her body. <laughs> tomato, tomato. <laughs> Whatever. Just, what what story is that? I, I forget which one I picked out. Uh, this one is called... The Creaking Chair. <laughs> that sounds very cheesy, Allison. I just chose what sounded interesting. <laughs> just continue. <laughs> Alright, um... It, it says your, and, uh... Like it's talking to the audience. <laughs> That's fine, just just read it. <laughs> okay. Your house is old, but don't get me wrong. <clears throat> it's a nice house. But not good. No, it's an evil house. <laughs> Are you sure that isn't a poem? Like what, Dr. Seuss? 
That's actually what it reminded me of, yeah. Uh, no, this is an original work. What are you talking about? It makes scary sounds that creep you out. You're woken up at night by your bedroom door opening slowly. And you get up, close it, and go back to sleep. <laughs> okay, I'm slowly regretting my decision. <laughs> I'm not talking to you in the story. <laughs> no, my decision of picking that one out. <laughs> oh. Well, duh, I'm reading it anyway. Uh, it just says... That's not what that says. Just to wake up hours later and repeat it. Uh, Allison, there, there are stars to indicate time passing. Do, do I have to say that? I mean, you already did, but... No? Man, this is so entertaining. Susie, go away. I'm not Swiper the Fox, you know. You can't just make me go away by telling me to go away. <laughs> okay, then let's. Uh, where was I? When you heard it, it. When you heard it the first night, you passed it off as your imagination. But every night since, it had just gotten worse and worse. Oh no! <laughs> the third night, you. Heard the floorboards creak near your bedroom. Uh, you sat straight up in the darkness the rest of the night, watching, waiting, and listening till morning. There was a th 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 the fifth night. There was the sound of footfalls up and down the stairs. You stayed up all night, standing next to your closed door. The suspense. <laughs> I I'd really not. Wow. I I'd rather not. Um even think about that. <laughs> that that reminds me of another story <laughs> it is not your turn Alice <laughs> I know can I tell the next story can I continue reading please I guess <laughs> alright then <clears throat> but the seventh night is when you almost lost it you heard a creepy creaking down the stairs you tiptoe to the top of the stairs be beyond the door. A slight creaking of a chair. You go downstairs to investigate. I don't like this story. Just You flip on the kitchen light and look into the living room. The rocking chair. It was moving by itself. By this point, you assumed the house was haunted. As soon as you think the thought, you heard the most blood-curdling scream, and that makes you scream and run out the front door. And there's stars again, like like a lot of stars. <laughs> uh, you wake up in your bed, breathing heavily. Then you hear it, the creaking chair. <laughs> <sighs> I never want to see a chair ever again. <laughs> it wasn't that scary, Alice. That it was, it was just weird. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm kind of freaked out by it. Well, I mean, the, the detail is, is amazing, but it's not a very good story, Allison. Okay, uh, is it my turn? Uh, I, I think so. I think Susie went, and then Bendy, and... Wait, how do you know that? Because I was out for, for like, five minutes! Right, uh, what, what were you gonna say, Allison? Uh, hang on. I need to find the right one I want to read. <laughs> okay, uh... After being trapped in a lamp for 8,000 years, Alta is unwilling to trust anyone. <laughs> Man, she she really has low standards. <laughs> 8,000... only 8,000 years. That's a really long time, Alice. How would you know? <laughs> Uh, how about you guess? Uh, 
I, I highly doubt that you've been around for 8,000 years. You're right. I've been around for 10,000 years. I just want to read a story! <laughs> Man, that, that was uh, kind of rude, Allison. Yeah, we're, uh, we're kind of talking. <laughs> Anyways, you've been around for 10,000 years and you said nothing? You never asked. Wait, hang on. I've never asked for your age. <laughs> no, you haven't. <laughs> or are you like, uh, I don't know, 20, 18, 19. You don't know how old I am? <laughs> Uh, no. Wait, hang on. Wait, you, you were 19. Uh, you're, you're like 23 now. No! I'm at least like 25 now. How many years has it been? That's so weird. Um, I could have sworn you were 19. Yeah, maybe, uh, the, like, um, I'm I'm not very good at math. <laughs> that was like six years ago, Alice. Okay, I could have sworn it was longer. <laughs> uh, I I don't know. Maybe, maybe you're like a thousand. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I don't know. For for all we know, you could be like my age or like close to it. You know, that that is true. <laughs> Can I please read the story now? <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, good. Uh, I forget where I was. Um, the only master she had gotten along with... Wait, wait, hang on, hang on. What? <laughs> what is it now, Alice? Now? What do you mean? I'm just asking a question. I'm trying to read. What? I'm lost. Can you start over, please? Fine. After being trapped in a lamp for 8,000 years, Ulta is unwilling to trust anyone. The only master she had got along with was an Egyptian girl named Rose. Uh, that's interesting. Don't start! I, I only commented. I, I'm not trying to stop you from reading. You two are inseparable! Okay, um, was an Egyptian girl named Rose. For her freedom and the ability to grant her own wishes. Wait, wait, hang on. <laughs> what is it now, Alice? Wait, hang on. Is if she's a genie, which the the story is implying, how is she able to grant her own wishes? And if if not already, why? How? You know what? I'm gonna start a different story. <laughs> what? No, no, I'm actually curious. What? Uh, what happens next? No, we're we're skipping stories. Fine by me. Well, more entertainment, I guess. Of course you would. But nothing interesting has been going on, so... Okay, this one... Wait, I haven't gotten a turn? You just had a turn! Oh, fine! You know what? What? Just do your story! That's very kind of you, Allison. I was talking to you! Go! You wanna go so bad? Alright, um... 
What? Ooh, this one's a good one. Okay, uh, this, <laughs> this is a long story, so any questions and comments, please uh, keep it till the end. Because uh, I do not want to lose my place. Um, I, I have a question. Yeah? What, what's the name? Not all stories have to have names, Bendy. But, but does it have a name? Yes, it does. It's it's called floor number twelve. She says. Didn't you pick it out? I don't remember everything I do, Bendy. <laughs> she she has a a point. <laughs> All right, just just start reading. <laughs> okay. All right. This this is from first person, so I'm not talking about me. Uh, this is the author or someone else. I have a terrible fear of heights. This includes elevators. This theory was only proven more truer. Is truer even a word? She said, save the comments to... later. It's, it's just a question. It doesn't sound like a word. It's, it's not. It's not written grammatically correct. Oh, okay. Sorry. C continue. Uh, <clears throat> oh, here we go. When we got in the last elevator I will ever see in my life. Let me explain. This happened back in June 2014. Me and a buddy of mine, let's call him Alex, had been traveling together for a while and had decided to come home early. Are you sure that this isn't a Reddit post? Yes, I'm sure this isn't a Reddit post. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Uh, for a while, we had decided to come home early. On our way back, at least two or three states away, we stopped at a hotel. <laughs> Hang on, who stops two or three states away from their destination to rest for the night? <laughs> Can you ask that with less fluidity in your voice? What? She means don't be weird by, like, asking in a weird tone. How was I being weird? <laughs> uh, th never mind. Uh, I think most people do that when they're on a road trip. <laughs> they're, they're not able to make it in time. I, I don't know. You'd, you'd have to ask Susie, she's she's probably experienced that. And I I have, I will not be answering that. Of course not. Okay, hopefully she didn't read anything uh, after hotel. It was a nice hotel, but I just felt something off-putting about it. Is it the Hotel uh, California? Don't even go there, Allison. Don't. Don't do that. I'm just asking a question. Why do I always get yelled at? Because you're always doing something wrong. That's not true. Alright, well, it's, it's, uh, I don't know. I, I don't have a reason. You know, neither do I. Are we just, like, mean to her for no reason? Uh, no, so sometimes sometimes she deserves it. Alright then, uh... Felt something off-putting about it, and it is not the Hotel California. <laughs> Don't bring that up again. <laughs> I won't. I'm 
sorry. Okay, back to the, the actual story. We checked in and headed towards the elevators, passing a couple of other people here and there. Were they able to leave? It's not that kind of hotel, Allison. <laughs> okay, but, but is there a song about it? It's not the Hotel California. Stop it. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll I'll stop. They're passing other people, and what? Uh, one person, however, stopped us and asked me what floor our room was on. I looked at her strangely. Wait, what? Hang on, I think I read that wrong. I looked strangely at her. What was the difference? Wording? It's not how it's worded. I think I accidentally... I don't know, I think my brain autocorrected it. Um... The twelfth floor? She looked at us in horror. Horror. Oh my gosh. I looked at Alex. He shared my same confused expression. Can you speak more clearly, please? Allison, I swear. I can't really understand what you're saying. All your words are sometimes... Jumble together. <laughs> you know what? If I wasn't glued to this chair, I would go punch you in the face for that. No, no, you wouldn't, Alice. Oh, wouldn't I? Actually, thought that Susie would come out there. Yeah, well, she's not the only one with a grudge against that one. <laughs> okay. Your grudge against Allison is healthy, hers is not. We'll, uh, we'll see about that. I, I still need to schedule that therapist. Good, you, you need the therapy. Not for me! For, for her! How dare you! I don't need therapy! You know what? Just continue. We'll talk about this later. <laughs> no! We're, we're not gonna talk about this later, Allison. <laughs> You're not scheduling therapy. Uh, but we'll see. <laughs> what is this about therapy, Alice? D nothing! It's, it's something that she thinks I need. <laughs> what? She's crazy! <laughs> uh... I don't disagree with you there, but don't say it out loud. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, th nothing, dearest. <laughs> Using pet names will not make my anger go away, Bendy. Dang it. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, it's really weird. Uh, Alright, she's... She's my girlfriend. I, I can say that. You you don't have a place to say that, uh, anything. <laughs> you guys are so mean. Can you start reading again, please? <sighs> okay, but if Susie comes out, I am not stopping her. <laughs> you, you could stop her before. Uh... Good point. Let's, let's hope that doesn't happen. Um, where was I? What's so bad about the 12th floor? He yawned after saying this. Oh, oh, you poor, poor sweet dears, she said, shaking her head. No one goes on the 12th floor anymore. Bad things, evil things, things... That doesn't say things. Uh... Evil things could kill you in your sleep if you're not careful. Alex was starting to look worried. He looked at me and asked for the paper with our room number on it. Maybe it wasn't on the twelfth floor. The woman grabbed the paper out of Alex's hands, spooking both of us. She studied it a good twenty seconds. No, no, I'm gravely, 
Sorry, dearie. It appears you are indeed on the twelfth floor. Such nice boys. Sweet boys. Oh, I hope and pray to get to see you tomorrow morning. She walked off to the third elevator. Wait, hang on. The Both protagonists are, are guys. Yeah? Did it not seem like it? Uh... I don't know, sometimes in stories, unless it's said, uh, I don't really imagine that. You know, I didn't either. Uh, Alright then. Guess they are. Uh, Still shaken, Alex and I looked at the paper once more. One more time. Oh my gosh. Uh... I'm pretty sure that I was tripping out because it said the 11th floor. I scratched my head in confusion. What? But I... she... Ugh. Never mind. Let's just get to our room. We stepped into the elevator. Y you got this, Alice. I'm not struggling! Shut up! <laughs> we stepped into the elevator and I searched the keypad for button 11. Strange thing is, there wasn't an 11th floor button. That's stupid, Alex said, spooking me. Right before I was about to push button 12, the elevator moved suddenly. What did you do? Alex said, looking around the enclosed room. Nothing, I said. The elevator moved a bit faster than usual upwards. After about five minutes of going up, the elevator... Stopped slowly on the 10th floor, right where the 11th floor should have been. Oh, no. Right where the 11th floor should have been, the elevator just... Just continue with the auto-corrections. Just did a jolt and suddenly started hurtling back down. I watched the numbers fly across the number screen. That makes no sense. It says floor. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Wait, hotels have a floor zero? Uh, I think it might be like the lobby or something. Or, or, like, the basement. Uh, I think it might be the basement. Alex and I braced for impact. Several seconds passed. Nothing happened. I realized the elevator had stopped moving. I looked up at the floor number we were at. Twelve. Alex and I looked at each other. What? He said. The doors opened and out lay an empty hallway. Slightly dark. When we entered the hallway, the elevator doors closed. The hallway went black. Ah, uh, they should turn back right away. Is there something going on with your voice or something? I, I think she's, uh, she's a little freaked out. C continue. Uh, I closed my eyes. If I was... What? I think that's supposed to say it. <laughs> if it was one thing I hated more than heights and elevators, it was dark open hallways at night. I dared to peek at the hallway, but what I saw was not a hallway but a room. A nice room. I looked around at... Alex to find that he was at the ice cream machine. I couldn't sleep. Whatever I did, it wasn't for very long. I woke up in the lobby with all of my things. At least it looked like a lobby. I asked someone what floor we were on. Twelve. We've always been on twelve. Once you enter, there's no going back. Do you have to do the voice? Yes, yes I do, because then you can differentiate me narrating from somebody talking. 
I slowly backed away, bumping into someone. I turned to Alex. He didn't look so good. He looked like a zombie, almost, if that's what you could call it. Alex! Oh, gosh. What- what happened to you? No response. Alex? Uh, <laughs> Alex, come on, stop playing around, this isn't funny. He turned around. His mouth was widely stretched so close to the ground. It looked like, not spit, but ink was coming out. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, now you've got my attention. What? That's what it says! Ink! Uh, that's interesting. And then somebody's screaming. I I'm not gonna do this, but... Does it look like I'm playing? Before I could scream, he started running towards me. Wait, how, how does he... How, how is he talking? I don't know! It's just what's written! <laughs> I ran to the elevator as fast as I could and punched one. Still breathing hard, I looked at and noticed that the room was empty. It says at instead of and, but okay. Number 12, she says. It could kill you, she says. Well, it... Ugh. Well, she didn't say it would take your friend. Suddenly, there was a booming, overpowering voice. A woman's voice. And this one is also yelling. <laughs> of course I didn't say that. I warned you to stay away because I am Floor The sweet woman. She was the reason for all of this. As soon as the elevator reached the lobby, I darted for the front door, closing it behind me. Just in time, too, because Alex was still chasing me. The door- Wow. When the door hit his face, he dropped to the floor. But by then, he was just a puddle of ink and clothes. Uh... That's a little unsettling. Really? You find that unsettling? Uh, the, the ink part, at least, yes. Um... <clears throat> any other stories? <laughs> uh... I think you were gonna go next. Right, right Allison? Uh, yeah, r right. Uh, your turn, Bendy. I, I think. Uh, it, yeah, yeah, your your turn. Uh, all right then. This is the only one I have. Uh, ooh, there's a lot of stories in here actually. Hang on. Uh, I found one that's actually interesting. Uh, okay. What um. What's it say? Does it have a name? You sound very interested. I'm bored. Okay, I'm glued to the seat. I can't really do anything. So, just does it have a name? Uh, yeah, yes, it does actually. It's called a magic crisis averted. That's that's new. It. <laughs> I, I don't know. Allison, is this new? Uh, I don't know. I found it in Alice's archives. Wait, I, I have archives? Uh, she, she means like your, your library. Oh, like over there? Uh, probably, yeah. Okay, can you just start reading, please? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Amethyst Stone and her brother's house is attacked by assassins. And the biggest, most <laughs> dangerous storm that uh, triumphs over all storms. I, I can't. I, this is too funny. What? What's this say? <laughs> This is like a nine-year-old wrote it. Can I do a different story? Uh, I don't see why not. You didn't really get anywhere. Uh, alright, let's, let's flip to a different one. Uh, okay, so this is a Cinderella retelling, I guess. Uh, I think it's like the first part of the story. It's called Rabbine. 
Ooh. It's freaking. I... I don't know. That, that sounds, um... I don't know, just... I, I'm not very interested in it. <laughs> this sounds boring. Uh, if you ask me... Well, no one was asking you, Allison, so... There. Well, I agree, there's no reason to be rude, Susie. Oh, fine, just just read. Okay. After the tragic death of mother, father was left to take care of his two daughters, Janella and Rabinella. Janella had, had grown up with her older sister until Rabinella's powers revealed themselves and their danger to her. Are you sure you don't want someone else to read the story? It seems, uh, seems like you're having trouble. No, I, I can do it. As long as you pronunciate things, it's, it's fine. I, I don't struggle with reading like you do, Alice. I, I struggle with speaking. It, it's different. Okay, I didn't say you did. Just read. Or, uh... Here's... Just, just go. Uh, alright, where, where was I? <clears throat> Rapinella's entire appearance had been altered. Her golden hair darkened a jet black. Her ocean blue eyes shed a blood red shade. Her uh, flowing pink dress had become a long gown of dark gray, red, and black. Rabinella had begun to use her powers against Janella. She'd even tried to choke the child on many occasions as a result of one of her recurrent outbursts of uncontrolled rage. Hey, hang on. Hang on. Pause. What, what was that? Uh, I was turning the page. What, what do you mean? It, it's it's a book. Turn the pages, Alice. Oh, that's okay. Okay, continue. Uh, Rabinella was getting out of control. Her outbursts were getting more frequent and more dangerous. One night, father had had enough. Had had? You know, like... Had. Had. Enough. Oh. Okay. He walked down the hall, up the stairs, and into the living chambers that the girls shared. He opened the door with such force that it hit the wall, bounced back to the door way as he stepped in. Uh, what? Uh, what, what? What's wrong? Also seems to have grammatical errors. <laughs> there, there's, there should be an and in that sentence. I thought it sounded fine. Alright. Okay then. Uh, as he stepped in, Rabinella had her hands out in front of her. One was up in the air above her head, while the other was out in front in a choking position towards something in the air. Oh my gosh, does she have the force or something? Uh, I don't know, just, just listen. Janella was suspended in the air, struggling with her hands at her neck, rasping for breath. I, I guess she does. Janella's short hair was tied back messily behind her head in a swift bun. <clears throat> the fabric of her orange dress, etched with s stretch marks and rips from violence all along the frills. 
the dress arms and neck areas seemed tight on Janella as she held her throat. As Rabinella pulled her choking hand back as a final motion, Father took that moment to grab hold of her arm and pull it tight behind her back. Uh, I don't know who I'm rooting for. Uh, I guess right now the father, right? Uh, I don't know, like, it seems like a good, good thing to do. Because Rabinella is, like, choking... What, what's her name? Ginny? Janella. Right. And, I don't know, maybe nobody is innocent in the story. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know about that, but right now it seems like Rabinella has issues. <laughs> it's like, like, unresolved anger issues. Uh, anyways. Rabinella gasped and made a painful noise as her arm fell so did janella father moved swiftly with rabinella in one hand he caught janella in the other uh what does it say father so much oh geez father quickly examined janella then sighed in relief i, I don't know like what what i should say for like when they're talking <laughs> <clears throat> uh, d do what I did, like, a, a different voice. Uh, I don't know if I could do that. No harm was done, thankfully. <clears throat> he said, checking her throat over again. Ah, uh, good, good job! <laughs> Uh, he set her down as her feet touched the polished fl wood floor. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> he set her down <laughs> as her feet touched the polished wood floor. <laughs> he held up his other daughter's wrist. As for you... He glared deeply into her cold, dark, blood-red eyes. He stood and started for the door. Janella's grasp... What? Wait, what? <laughs> I think I read that wrong. Uh, you, you got this. I can read, Alice. It's just... It's okay, it happens to everybody. <laughs> But it doesn't happen to me. I can read. So can I. It's just a simple mistake. It's okay. She hasn't said anything for like the past five minutes. Uh, I think she might be asleep. <laughs> with with her eyes open. Oh. Dreams, dreams. What the heck? Dreams, dreams. Uh, does she say that when she sleeps? Dreams. Uh. Dreams. I, I, I don't know what to make of it. She, uh, t t I don't know. I'm not around her when she's asleep. Dreams. <laughs> so weird. Can we move somewhere else? Sorry. What was that for? Uh, I didn't mean to, but my hand slipped. Sure it did. Um, you're glued to the chair and I'm tied to the chair, remember? Yeah, but at least you can get out of it. I cannot. Dreams. All right, you know what? Let's, uh, I can teleport her away if that works. Yes, please teleport her away. Dreams. Uh, and she's gone. <sighs> okay. I have this dream nonsense. Where where were we? Are you? Uh, you you could take a turn reading it if you want. Um. Uh. 
honestly, you, you know what, you, you can read it if you want. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll take turns reading it. That, that works with me. I was on Janela Grasped. Uh, that's where I left off. Uh, okay. Janela... Oh wow, it is hard to pronounce. <laughs> See, it's not me. It's, it's the text. Okay, um... Janela grasped Father's free hand and skipped along beside him down the stairs. Rabinella was dragged down the hall, past the living quarters of the house, and through the door into the pouring rain. Uh, she was thrown into the back seat of the carriage waiting out front. She watched in jealousy as her prissy, perfect sister sat next to their father up at the front of the coach. Janella turned around to face the window, into the carriage, to face Rabinella. Janella frowned and smiled mischievously. She is not a good child. <laughs> no, she's not. I, I think, I think Rabinella might be, uh, might be lashing out or something. <laughs> this, this is what it seems like. Uh, let's, let's continue. Uh, oh, <laughs> she stuck out her tongue at her older sister, <laughs> then spun back around in her seat. Rabinella frowned. She hated that she was always blamed for the things her sister provoked her to do. <laughs> she crossed her arms and looked out the window beside her. She slid down in her seat as the carriage started off. Rabinella sniffled and wiped her right eye with her hand as streams of silent tears rolled down her cheeks. Wait, hang on. Why only her right eye? I don't know. Maybe it's, uh... I don't know. Um... Mother would understand. She paused and sniffled. It's not fair. She whispered. You're very good at this. I've read, uh, here and there. Just not from my library. Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe just some books that have been left around? Come to think of it, I don't know. Last time I read a book. Uh, t today, that counts. Right? Uh, I guess so. <laughs> Let's continue. Um, the scene out the window was all a blur. Her eyes strained at the sight. She smirked, welcoming the dizziness as more tears came. After all, I'm not the only one who killed her in that ca carriage accident. I thought that's a car. So, neither Rabinella or Janella are innocent. No, it's, uh... I mean, this is an accident, so maybe... I don't know, she's implying that Janella did it on purpose? I, I don't know, I'm not breaking this down. Um, there's stars, and then... The carriage stopped at a tall building. The horses tugged slightly, wanting to go on further. They neighed, shifting positions, standing still. Father jumped to the ground, rocking the carriage back and forth. Wait, hang on, is his actual name Father? Uh, unless he's a pastor, I don't think so. Uh, I think that's just what Rabinella and Janella call him. You know, because they're his daughters. <laughs> right. Uh, he walked over to the carriage. That's not carriage. He walked over to the coach door and heaved it open. Rabinella stared at him, still shaken up. Wasn't she, like, crying? Uh... I don't know. This might have been like hours later, for, for all we know. It's just a passage of time. Father was staring at the red velvet carpet beneath her feet. Out, he almost muttered. 
Rabinella didn't even flinch. Instead, she turned her tear-stricken face towards the building behind him. It was like an enormous tan stain on the rain-stricken sky. Father noticed her disobedience. He straightened and looked directly at her. Okay, this, this is a shouting one. Out! He shouted. Rebinella blinked, unfazed, but complied. She scooted off the seat, then jumped out, her bare feet landing on the gravel. Looking at the ground, she winced as every step sent daggers of pain through her feet. Ow. Is she not wearing shoes? I guess not. <laughs> so weird. Uh, anyways. Father stalked off towards the building and she trudged behind. They stopped on the porch and father knocked on the front door. Uh, do you want to read the next part? <laughs> uh, this feels like school, but yes. There you go. Uh... Uh, okay, I see where he left off. Rabinella tried not to let her relief show on her face as the daggers died down on the hard concrete. She glanced at him sidelong as she thought in wonder of what would happen next. She gulped. I, I am not reading this. Do, do you want to read this? Oh, uh, Why? <laughs> Uh, fine. Father, sir, Rabinella said. You didn't do the voice. I, I didn't. No. Well, I, fine, just pretend I did. I'm not saying that again. He stared at the door. Silence, he said, briefly glancing at the concrete in front of her. Rabinella frowned at her father and went back to staring at the ground. <laughs> and her dad does not like her. I'm starting to see who we're supposed to sympathize, the sympathize with. Yes, that. This is just one of those days, I guess. Uh, several minutes passed and no one came to the door. <clears throat> Father knocked again, and this time there was a raspy voice in response. Whoever you are, go away. Get off my property at once. Father cleared his throat. Answer the door, Marina. He said. Rabinella heard multiple locks quickly slide out of place. The door opened, and she looked up into beady eyes darker than her own. A woman who looked to be in her thirties now stood before them. She had brunette hair with shining silver streaks. She wore a fancy-looking blue gown that fit the description of ones Rabinella had seen some of the wealthiest citizens wear. Luther, Marina said, looking father up and down. She gave a puzzled look, not giving Rabinella a second glance. What is it? She said after a moment. Father sighed. I need a favor. He gestured towards Rabinella. There was silence for a moment. Sorry, Luther, but I've got a brat, a troubled curl of my own. Marina said, standing behind Marina was a girl about Rabinella's age. She had ginger hair pulled back tightly behind her head, and two long ponytails that sat at her shoulders. She wore a black, green, and red dress, oddly resembling Rabinella's gown. The girl smiled awkwardly. Hi, she whispered. Rabinella glanced around, looking side to side slightly. Me? She whispered back, pointing to herself. The girl nodded. Rebinella blinked, confused about what to do in the situation. She sm 
the, the, she just smiled and waved slightly. <laughs> so this girl is in like the same situation as Rebanella. Ah, uh, I don't know. It seems to be that way. But maybe nicer. <laughs> you know, she kind of sounds like Anastasia or like one of the uh. One of the stepsisters. <laughs> I, I don't think her name was Anastasia. Um, no, no, it's not. It, it says something else here. Marina noticed and looked down at Rabinella, tracing her gaze to her daughter. Marina gave a short gasp. Loon Lily, she snapped. Get back inside father sighed as Marina closed the door and they got back into the carriage Rabinella looked out the window the ride was long and very boring after a while she fell asleep and that is all I'm willing to read right now wow um the uh the the characters kind of sounded familiar. <laughs> uh, if you're talking about the voices that I can kind of mimic some voices through the ink, if that's what you're saying. You can do what? Uh, I can mimic voices through the ink. <laughs> uh... You know, that makes sense, actually. <laughs> like how your singing voice doesn't really fit you. Excuse me. I mean, like, it sounds like a girl's voice. Almost like mine, but... Uh, uh, I can assure you it is nothing like yours. Yours is... Um... <laughs> awful, I know. Uh, I was gonna say beautiful, but hey. You have your own opinions. Okay then, um, but that that explains a lot, actually. <laughs> the um, I'm sure the audience in enjoys that uh that lore drop there. What? Nothing. <laughs> I thought you were the fourth wall expert. You can't say that, Alice. You you can't say that. <laughs> Uh, so how am I getting out of this chair? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I, I was going to teleport us, wasn't I? Yeah, you were! <laughs> Must you spill ink everywhere? Do you want to teleport or not? Yeah? Then ink is going everywhere. Uh, you, you don't mind, like... Spreading ink as well, do you? Uh, I do that occasionally, yeah. Then take this and spread it over there. Why? Because if not, then I'm the only one teleporting. You're not connected then. But I thought I'm connected to the ink too. <laughs> not directly, like when I teleport you with me. Oh, okay, um... I can't do it in front of me. That's strange. Uh, that's that's all I can do. <laughs> all right, hang on. There you go. Um, get any extra here? I actually don't know how I did in front of me. I think the mic card should be blocking us, right? Uh, I don't know if it should, but it it is blocking me. Uh, does does that help? Uh, sure. Just uh, look, I don't know. Look down. <laughs> Do I still have to be holding the ink? Uh, it would be preferable, yes. Just just to make sure. Okay. And 
and we should be out. Oh. I don't remember feeling this dizzy before. Uh. I don't know about that, but. Uh. We're, we're out. Do I have glue on on me? What, what do you mean? Um. Like, beneath me? I, I'm not checking your butt for glue, Alice. <clears throat> That's not what I was asking. I don't know. Just I think there's like a mirror or something around here. Well, okay. No, don't don't be weird. Sorry. <laughs> um. I don't see any glue on the chair. <laughs> Uh, no, no, there's not. You s you said no! <laughs> well, you turned around and started walking that way, so... <laughs> you know what? Uh, I'm gonna go to my room. <laughs> Don't be weird, Bendy! <laughs> I'm not the one being weird, Alice. <laughs> Freaking glue butt. <laughs> I heard that! No, you didn't. <laughs> You're not practically omniscient here. You, you don't hear everything going on in the studio. <laughs> no, but you... Uh, you know what? Go! Go to your room! Alright, glue butt. <laughs> don't call me that! That's so mean! <laughs> no, it's not. It's accurate. <laughs> uh, get back here, Bendy! No, 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 no. Please, please, no. Please. <laughs> Are you stuck? No. No, I'm not. I, I'm not stuck. You didn't see anything. <laughs> get back here. I, I don't know why I stopped in the hallway. No. Wait, hang on. No! You won't get- you don't get away with that! No, no, hang on. Like... Stop it. Look that way. What? Oh. Uh... You only teleported her out here? I don't remember what level her room is on. So, yeah, technically this is safer than the abyss. I guess... I, I don't... I can't think of anywhere else you'd... Hey! Hey, get, get back here! No, 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 no. <laughs> Stay away. Pay for that. No, no, I'm not. Because you're not gonna catch me. Yes, I am. You keep stopping in the hallway because I keep bumping into things. You keep watching me bump into things. Yeah, it's almost like this isn't uh, easy to do. I have no idea what you're talking about, but you stay over there. No! Stop chasing me. No. Bad Bendy. What, I can't tease you every now and then, really? No, that was really mean. What, glue butt is mean? Really? I think it's clever. No, it's not. It's mean. Alright, I'm sorry. No, you're not. Debatable. Ugh. You know what? I'm going back to my room. You can... You can do whatever. I didn't mean to upset you, Alice. No! No! Stay away! Hang on, did you run into a wall? No! You, you didn't see anything! I'm, I'm not... Um... I'm not you! I'm not blind! You don't have to be blind to run into things, Alice. It happens. I'm, uh, th I'm fine. <laughs> I don't run into things. Y you know what? No, I I'm actually curious now. No, I I'm coordinated. <laughs> I see that. 
the, it's very, very interesting you say as you run into your doors. <laughs> you know what, I've, I've had enough of you today. <laughs> just, just stay out there. <laughs> I'm, I'm going back to, um... I, just, I don't even know. It's, it's like going to my room or something. <laughs> Hey! Get out of here! I just closed my doors! Get out of here! No. You really think doors will keep me out of your room? Really? Maybe? You're gonna have to try better than that, sweetie. Ah, uh, don't say that. What? Sweetie? Really? Ah. Uh... Please leave my room! <laughs> or this gets weird! <laughs> uh, I don't know what to do with this information. <laughs> you will do anything with that information! You go to your room! <laughs> no, I, I think- I think this is the- Sorry, I think this is the perfect end to tease you. <laughs> no, it's not! <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> you- Fine. Uh, I'll be back though. Sorry. <laughs> Quit doing that. <laughs> you know you're you're so cute when you uh, yell at me like that. I am not cute. Stop it. <laughs> you are too. See you tomorrow. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, Bendy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Get back here. <laughs> Oh, no, you stay in there. <laughs> don't, don't do what I think you're gonna do. What? What do you think I'm gonna do? <laughs> I don't know, you're being weird. Stay in <laughs> Step back, please. <laughs> what? <laughs> please step back. Oh, weird. <laughs> no, what? Th no, don't close the doors. <laughs> Stop it. Close the doors. <laughs> no. Keep it open. <laughs> no, close the doors. <laughs> no, open the doors. <laughs> no. <laughs> go, go back to your, I don't know, bedroom or something. We'll hang out tomorrow. <laughs> oh, now you want to hang out tomorrow? <laughs> Isn't that what we were gonna do anyways? <laughs> Maybe, I, I don't know, if you wanna hang out tomorrow. Yeah. Fine. Good night. Go back to your room. <laughs> Close the doors. <laughs> I will be leaving. <laughs> no! Alice, if you don't close those doors, I'll close these doors for you. <laughs> you don't know how to do that. <laughs> really? Want a bet? <laughs> yes, actually. <laughs> Alright. Ha. I, I told you. What the heck? How, how'd you do that? <laughs> I told you not to mess with me, Alice. <laughs> There's, there's no way! How'd you do that from the outside? <laughs> the ink, obviously, but let's let's just say magic or something. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, uh... I, I don't believe you. <laughs> Stay in there. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> no! Maybe I want to hang out or something. <laughs> oh my gosh, Alice. You know what? Fine. We'll, we'll hang out, but then right to bed. <laughs> hey! Oh my gosh. I, I don't I don't even know what to do with you. Uh, love me for all eternity? Uh, d d yeah. S something like that. Yay! Sleepover! No, 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 I never said anything about a sleepover. 
never said sleepover. <laughs> sleepover! Yay! No. 